Hi folks, in this video I will uh, demonstrate how to clean old motorcycle brake lines that are uh, clogged with a uh, hard brake fluid uh, or gunked up brake fluid. What I did was I, I'm, uh, I took this uh, copper wire out of a uh, coaxial cable. Here's one of them. Got a razor blade and I slid the wire. When you do that, you're going to get several different layers. You know, this, uh, this metallic strand, once you open it up, you, you, you open it up a little bit at the beginning and then you, you peel it. Like, a, like snake skin. Like when, you spill, when you're peeling the skin of a snake with this copper wire inside. So that you do have to cut in also a little bit like that. You cut it cut it, you cut it, and then slowly take out the copper wire. Take out the copper wire real slow so you won't bend it. And then what you're left with is this, this wire here. Cut about two feet, because each of my lines are two feet. So, but I'm really not gonna use all two feet. What I'm gonna do is use maybe a little bit more than a foot. Go down a little bit more than a foot. Get it unclogged and then turn it around and do the other side. Now what I do is, I, uh, I use a little bit of WD-40. I don't use that much. I use car cleaner too, but not that much, because I hate it and it gives me a headache. But this is what works best. What you do is you put a little bit of WD-40 at the tip, and then you uh, go down with the wire, little by little, inch by inch. Uh, as you go down, put a little bit more WD-40. There, it went down a little bit more. There, it just went down. Oops. And then just keep going down. And you can go like this a little bit, up and down, up and down. You're gonna feel as you go down, you're gonna feel it going in more and more. And when you take it out, take it out slowly now. Don't do it all at once. If you get it jammed in there, that's not good. This is how far I took it in. So that's pretty far. It's almost half of it. You may see a little bit of a gunk on it. Just clean it off and put it back in with a little bit more WD-40 and keep doing that. Now, what I also did to the tip of this uh, wire is uh, I grinded it down a little bit with the grinder. You could also do it with a, with a file, so it could be a little bit more pointy. And then just slowly go down inch by inch till you go up at least about more than halfway using WD-40. Then turn it around and do the other side. You could also use a little bit of carb cleaner. And of course, also your air gun. Okay, I put it here in a vise because it's easier to handle this way. But what you do is you put the put the air gun here and you put another finger at the other end like so and then um, blow it out you will notice once you have it clear uh, and you put WD-40 one last time when you blow it you're gonna see the WD-40 come out as a mist down the bottom and then you'll know your line is clear uh, decided to do this because uh, I really don't want to spend 150 or 200 dollars on brake lines, especially steel, stainless steel brake lines and, and fittings and all that. And plus, they may not they may not even fit my brakes. Here's the three lines that I gotta do. Here's one, two, three, three for the front and the back one for my bike. It's a uh, Suzuki GS 750 from 1981. And I thought I wish I thought it would it would be a good idea to share this for other people who uh, who come across the same problem where they want to install you know that their the brake lines are are, are are dry and not working and they don't want to have to spend 150 to 200 dollars and apart from that it's really difficult to find uh, original OEM brake lines I went to the dealer a Suzuki dealer and uh, they told me that. Uh, they were going to have to order them from across the country 
from another state and one guy, one dealer had two blinds but not the third. So it's a pain in the neck and they were going to charge me a lot of money, like $180 just for three lines without the, uh, without the, uh, the connectors, you know. Now, of course, new brake lines are much better and more, much more safer, but still. You could clean your old, brake, your old brake lines and they still work fine, then hey, why not, you know? Okay, uh, I wanted to mention that in the beginning when you pour uh, a little bit of WD-40, you're going to notice that uh, it doesn't go down right away. This one's going down quite faster much faster but it wasn't going down at all when I first started and that's an indication that it's got gunk in there at the end once you're done and complete and you put air with your air gun when you blow air in it and you see the WD-40 come out the other end then you'll know that it's clear and when you put WD-40 over here it goes right down it, goes, it sucks it right in so I wanted to mention that and if, if, it, if you come if you go a few inches, maybe six inches or more, and you get stuck like this, take it out and swing it. Swing, just swing the the wire. The uh, here, let me do it. It's about eight inches or so, so it doesn't go anymore. What I'm gonna do now is take it out and just swing it really fast. Really, I can't do it because I that fast because I got my iPhone with me but you just basically swing it, swing it so that the inertia pushes it out the other end and then put it back into the vise and try it again. And then do the other side. Once you're complete, then you'll notice that when you put a uh, car cleaner to one end, it sucks it right in and then when you blow it with your air gun, it comes out the other end. It, it comes out as a mist. Just wanted to mention that. Okay, notice what happens when I put a brake carburetor cleaner on one side Watch how it comes out the other side now. After I clear, after I clear this line, watch how it comes out through the other side. See? Okay, here's a closer look. That's how you know that your line is clear. And when you blow air, that's carburetor cleaner or brake cleaner. When you blow air. Put your finger here and blow air through here, and then watch what happens. Watch how it comes out through this side. It's a mist. Oops. It's going to be a mist that comes out. You see that? So that's how you know if you have a clean brake line. Okay, last but not least, if you want to preserve your. After you clean the brake lines, make sure that it. Uh, the last pass that you that you make is uh, to put a little bit of carb carb cleaner or brake cleaner through the line and pump it out with the air gun, and then uh, make sure that the outside of the line maybe you could put a little bit of W WD40 to preserve it so it won't crack, and also these braids, steel braids. You could put WD40 on them. You could also grind them a little bit. With a, with a wire brush and then put WD-40 so they won't rust and you can store them in a plastic bag take out as much air as you can put it in, indoors in the garage and put it in a plastic bag and these cables these lines were last, will last you forever these lines are from 81 it's from an 81 GS750 and uh, I'm going to set it up this week but they were at least the front ones were completely, completely clogged with uh, dried out brake fluid and I was able to uh, clean them up. Well folks, I hope that helped. Good luck with your old, old brake lines. Now you don't have to buy brand new brake lines anymore. Spend 150 to $200. And sometimes the new brake lines don't match your old master cylinder or it's off by a little bit and then it gets leaky and it's a real mess so it's better if you stick with the original lines that it came with from the factory and then just clean them up like I said with a, uh, with a simple coax cable I wish I knew this before because I was about to order new brake lines and uh, 
<laughs> it occurred to me to just just jam this in there and unclog it. It works really nice. Okay, guys and gals, the other thing I wanted to mention was that uh, to soften up your brake lines, you can use uh, phosphoric acid. You could get this uh, clean strip gallon of phosphoric acid. Uh, what this does is it uh, this will basically clean everything. It will uh, it will eat up everything, even metal. This is uh, you know diluted phosphoric acid, basically. But this same acid, I mean, this is diluted 100 parts, one part to a thousand. If you get pure phosphoric acid, you could actually melt anything. And a lot of a lot of pe a lot of uh, killers, what they do is they. Uh, it's hard to get pure phosphoric acid in the market, but you could actually get it and put somebody in a bucket and throw, you know, a couple of gallons of pure phosphoric acid, and the person will melt. However, it will not melt plastic, as you know. When uh, if you watch uh, Breaking Bad, you'll notice that. Uh, that's what Walter White does. He uses phosphoric acid to melt people, but he doesn't use. He uses a, a, a concentrated, pure form, not this this form, which is diluted. Uh, you can to clean the brake lines. You can dilute it even more. You can put uh, one, you know, half a gallon of this thing, which is what I did, onto this bucket. Oh, I think I think this bucket holds like 10 gallons. So I diluted it one part to 20, or you could put this whole, I don't think it's necessary, but you could put this whole gallon and put 10 gallons in there. And then um, you could use this water. Uh, it, will, it will take away rust from metal and it will clean carburetors and everything. And then what I do is I put my, put my brake lines in there with a little bit of, I put my brake lines in there for like a day and then it, uh, what it does is it uh, it goes inside and it, it softens all the gunk in there. It makes it a little softer and it cleans all the metal parts. And especially here in this in the beginning section, a lot of uh, a lot of gunk gets attached to metal. So the phosphoric phosphoric acid will go in there and it will make it you know it will make it into a paste, into a toothpaste instead of hard like glue. So another cool tip for cleaning old motorcycle brake lines that are clogged.